Okay. Well, we started. So welcome everyone to what's new in MPMI, which is the new virtual seminar series run by MPMI, where we um, bring different papers from the journal to you, um, where you get a chance to actually hear the author present it and ask questions of the author. We're doing this at um, two different times to encourage global participation. This seminar is geared towards um, people, uh, listeners in, in, around the Pacific, um, but I know we have people from all over and uh, our other time in two weeks will be at a time that's much more convenient for people around the Atlantic. So let me introduce myself. I'm Jean Harris. I'm the editor-in-chief of MPMI, and I'm very excited to welcome you all here today. Um, we have a very interesting seminar um, that uh, I've pulled from, this was my editor's pick from our focus issue, which was our January issue, um, a focus issue examining uh, the cell biology of plant virus and virus vector interactions that was edited, guest, guest edited by Dr. Yi Li, who is enjoy, joining me here as co-host um, from, from Beijing. Uh, Yi, Yi is a professor at Beijing Univer Peking University in Beijing. And uh, in addition to Yi Li, we also had uh, the other guest editors were Tessa Birch Smith and Aiming Wang, who put together a really lovely uh, focus issue on plant virus uh, cell biology. And both this week's seminar by Hong Lu, who will be talking about her research, and in two weeks, our next seminar will be given by Brandon Reagan. He and Tessa Birch Smith um, wrote a very interesting review on plasmodesmata, the cell biology of plasmodesmata and how viruses co-opt that system to move through the plant. That was a a review. So this is the first time we will be highlighting a review, but it's been one of the um, reviews that has, has attracted the most attention, and I think it, you will enjoy it all. That will be two weeks from now. So um, we're going to start now. I will turn to Hong Lu, who is coming to us from um, uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, and Hong Lu will be presenting her research from, from Feng Sui's lab, uh, examining a very interesting tritrophic interaction between plant, virus, and, um, and insect, uh, and aphid, and showing how when you have, once you have three partners, it gets a lot more complicated, uh, a lot more complicated, and um, the virus actually has a symbiotic relationship with its host. So really interesting, um, a lot of very interesting biology here. So I would like to turn it over to Hong Lu, who will present her research. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, let me start. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hello, everyone. I'm Lu Hong. I'm an assistant professor in Institute of Zoology in China. First, I'm very glad that so many people are int very interested in my article. I hope Mm. Uh, gland is the key organ mm, mm, to recognize and uh, accept host plants. Uh, insect saliva proteins can modulate plant defenses and uh, facilitate feeding. My major research is exploring the function of saliva gland or saliva proteins in insect-plant interaction or, and the plant virus transmission. Plant, plants, viruses, and uh, insects function in a complex uh, tripartite interaction. In this topic, I present an interesting uh, twist on this in interaction. An insect symbiotic virus um, can facilitate aphid adaptation uh, for 
if an adaptation to host plants by suppressing jasmonic acid responses. If it's an uh, agricultural pest, they suck several elements of host plants and transmit um, plant viruses. They can cause great economic losses of crop production. If it, uh, if it possesses uh, symbiotic viruses, but only several symbiotic viruses uh, have, have been reported and uh, characterized, um, such as six, these six RNA viruses, APV, IHPV, BRBV, RAV, APGLV, and two, and MEV1. And these two DNA viruses, MT, MPDNV and uh, DPLDNV. However, the, um, the effects of uh, symbiotic viruses on aphids and the uh, mechanism involved were largely uh, unknown. Plant mediated horizontal transmission is a prevailing characteristic of aphid symbiotic virus virus such as uh, IHPV, MPDNV, DPL, DNV, RAV, and MEV1. In this figure, when virus free effects were transferred to plant levels, levels fed by high virus effects, uh, and then the virus free effects become virus positive. Just because these viruses can be transferred to plants where injection with aphid saliva. When aphids uh, feeding host plants, they can inject saliva proteins into um, plants. These saliva proteins can exert, exert certain influences on plants, um, such as uh, re regulating the aphid plant interaction. Uh, with hypothesis, the symbiotic viruses can function as uh, aphid effectors, can uh, modulate the aphid plant interaction. In our previous work, um, the fitness uh, the, um, the fitness in the fitness of PFS were, um, was highest on with their faba, followed by uh, medicago tractilla um, and with their ulusa, and finally uh, medic medicago sativa. And on medicago sativa, the PFS didn't uh, didn't survive. Um, in the in 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 previous transcript, uh, in previous. Uh, salary transcriptomic data. We found the number of host specifics differentially expressed salivary gland genes were was negatively co corrected, correlated with the fitness of aphids on this host plant. In our trans, uh, in our um, transcriptomic sequence of cellular glands. We found uh, uh, as, as up to 13 percent of the rays um, can be mapped can be mapped to the genome of APV. APV was a picornal-like positive sense single single standard RNA virus. Its genome has been successfully sequenced. Um, it has two large open radiant frames encoding helicase proteins RDRP and CP. Um, we put forward a scientific question. What's the function of APV involved in the aphid plant interaction? In our results, APV particles were extract, extracted from PFS and observed um, by electronic microscopy. And APV was primarily 
uh, located in several glands and gas, but it is was almost uh, it is almost uh, undetected in auris. And APV had uh, propagated in penis. And the vertical transmission rate of APV was very was very low. Only thirteen three percent of the um, progeny was APV positive. Just because the high abundance of APV in cellular glands, AP, uh, the horizontal transmission rate of APV was also investigated. APV is horizontally transmitted to, ho to host plants during aphid, aphid feeding, but the virus did, does not, uh, the virus didn't repli replicate in replicate in plants. Um, the host the host risk in uh, the host risk of PFS exhibits the highest the highest fitness on Wisia Faba, uh, followed by Medicago Tractilla and Wisia Ulusa. When PFS were uh, adapted to low fitness host plants, more APV were more APV was produced in aphids and horizontal transmitted to plants. To explore the uh, if effects of APV on aphid adaptation to low fitness host plants, the survival and the reproduction of uh, APV infected and APV free aphids was compared. On low fitness host plants, APV has uh, APV was beneficial for the survival of PFS. This benefit of APV would likely be derived from either a direct effect on APHIS or an indirect effect on APHIS via the plants. Uh, from the direct effect on APHIS, we, mm, the molecular response of AP, APHIS to APV infection was investigated by comparing the transcriptomes of APV infected and APV free APHIS living on VCL losa. Among this, um, tw uh, 21,725 genes only 184 genes exhibited a uh, dif differential expression. 14 genes were upregulated and 117 genes were downregulated in APV infected events. The highest fold change was only fourfold. Uh, moreover, the APG um, uh, technique was used to characterize the aphid feeding behavior to APV infection. APV infected aphids spend less time on NP and C waveform and spend more time in F waveform. No significant no significant variation in the time spent in E1 and E2 and G waveforms. Combined with the molecular response and the feeding behavior of APHIS, APV had a marginal, marginal effect uh, on APHIS. Plant homer in signaling plays a key uh, role in AP, aphid plant infect, interaction. Jasmonic acid confers the defense against insects. Mm, salicylic confers the resistant to biotrophic mm, pathogens. On low fitness host plant with cellulosa, a, a, a synthetic 
um, a significant a significant de decrease in the levels of G and G solution was observed from uh, after a APV infected FS feeding. Um, the amount of SA was also increased. Um, it indicated it indicated that APV can lower the level of G to facilitate if it does level on low fitness host, host plants. We, summar, uh, we summarized uh, APV can be considered to be aphid effectors. It can facilitate the host aphid adaptation to a super plants by modifying the uh, modifying the fatal hormone defense response. Our research demonstrates a novel case of symbiotic virus mediated three species, species interaction. In the end, I would like to express my sincere thanks to my advisor, Kanglu and advisor, um, Dr. Chifeng, and our team members. And thank you very much for your listening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hong, for a very interesting presentation. Um, we have some questions already coming in the Q&A box. And if anybody is interested, you can write your questions down there. And um, Dr. Yi Li and I will read them. Sorry, I'm getting it so I can see everybody again. Um, so. Uh, we have our first question by Andres Ricardo Peraza Arias, who says, please tell me more about the methodology. So for example, the number of aphids for a sample, and is it possible that the response is different according to growth and development of the plant? So it's really two questions. So maybe the first question, Hong, is, the number of aphids um, that are on each plant. The number of insects. You want to have a hatch? Uh, you can even you can ask number of individuals for sample. <laughs> This is the survival rate and all, all reproduction. I think the question is how many insects, how many aphids? For one replicate. Yes. Yeah. Mm, thir mm, 13 to 14. 30 to 40. 40. Right. Per plant. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of that question is, is it depending on the development of the plant. Because Hey. Um, um, there is no difference, um, different, different response according to the uh, growth and the 
derailment of plant. Okay. Um, Yi, do you want to read the second, the next question? Yeah, next question is uh, uh, from Karen Alavia. Uh, two questions. Life, uh, the, is the life history of tri uh, traits of the aphid infected with EPV same as that of no infected in host plant? 就是这个这个蚜虫，这个呃有病毒的蚜虫，但没有病毒的蚜虫，它们的那个那个就是行为啊、存活啊，有什么变化没有？嗯。On low lowness host plant, we see our lowsa. Um, the plant APV has beneficial has a beneficial effect on the survival uh, survival of aphids. Um, APV survival much better by much better. Uh, APV infected aphids um, survival much better than APV free aphids. Mm, okay, but right. on, but on, mm, on best of, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, um, but on um, the good fitness host plant we see a farmer. Mm, the just um, the APV infected. Uh, uh, the survival of APV infected and APV free if it's, uh, was. Uh, no difference, has no difference. So no difference okay. on life mm. history, so no difference on um, timing of aphid development. Like, mm. does it affect uh, how fast they develop? Oh uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> 就是在这个呃呃这个适应性非常好的这个植物上，对蚜虫的发育啊生长的有没有什么影响？就除了死亡率以外，嗯嗯呃，no no no difference on no difference 对 no difference okay okay 嗯 so Karen Alvear has a Second question, um, she asks, were there validation experiments after transcriptomics? Um, did you do QRT-PCR on any of the genes? Mm, uh, mm, on the, in the transcriptomic data, mm, we found uh, mm, I, I have no um, experiments on this. No, no, no. So, so you have no, did not do a QPCR to uh, confirm the sequencing results. For example, yes. to pick up some specific genes, then do a QPCR. Have yeah. you did that? No. Okay. Um, I have some um, different uh, so some many different genes were um, or selected, uh, selected to uh, for this uh, experiments, but we. Um, uh, uh, no, 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 no,
林中，林中，嗯，让李老师给翻译一下。李老师，我主要是做一些那个，嗯、啊呃，就是关于我那个植物、啊、植物防御方面的那些基因定量验证。哦，就是莫里沙星和铜鹿的。做了，做，确实做做了，你没放文章里。对，我做了一些定量验证，但是我没有放到文章里面。你，我问你是做那个 J A 信号，呃，铜鹿是吧？对 J A 跟 S A 的线儿通路的定量验证，但做了没有放到文章里面，就是直接用激素去代、okay. 代替激素。嗯，所以红还是 pick up some of J A or some S E pathway genes middle to P R， but he did she did not put this result into the the paper， but she instead she used the quantitative amount of the J A or S E。Yeah, to measure the J A S E, yeah, level. Okay, thank you. So, good luck. Benjamin is asking, is there data on metabolites activities during the course of the interaction? Thinking about first, uh, primary and secondary metabolites. Mm -hmm. 先做慢了哈。他问你那个次生代谢物产物有什么变化没有？这，呃，你说次生代谢产物，嗯，有做这方面吗？有做，嗯，没有没有，没只做了 GA 的，没有做其他次生代谢的。呃，我们只做了 GA 跟 RC 的，没有做其他的代谢活性的。用英文说的，可以用李老师来回答。嗯，呃、嗯，对、okay, 啊，呃、uh, ，the answer is。She only measures the uh, JE and uh, SE, uh, uh, but she did not measure other uh, metabolisms. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That could be a very interesting direction for the future, looking yeah. at some of the other metabolites. I agree, it's a very interesting question, um, especially considering all the hormone changes. Okay, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you have the next one. I think. Can you uh, okay. Well, where is this? I cannot. I cannot find it. Oh, in the Q and A. Did the box go away? You can click Q and A. It should be. I think. I don't know how to pronounce. Way or sweet. Hey, that will make it into way. I can read that one. Um, way or sweet. Yeah. 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 So where to? He asks. APV infection increased the survival rate of aphids, but it decreased the reproduction rate. Correct? And is the difference significant or not? And if so, do you have any idea why? You have some thoughts, right? Why did it increase its survival rate? Then it reduced its survival rate. Okay. 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 Oh, I think that one went into answered. Yes, uh, APV infection decreased their um, reproduction rate. Mm. Do, you have, do you have an idea why that maybe happened? Do you have an answer? You have a fear? 降低它的，就繁殖率是保证它体内的，嗯，能能。So, uh, uh, this may be a trade-off, uh, that between the reproduction and uh, the APV infection. Yes. Interesting. I wonder what the mechanism is. 嗯，机制，这个有可能的机制是什么？机制什么
Do you have any idea about the <laughs> me me mechanism <laughs> of this trade-off? <laughs> um, you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, this can still be unknown. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, why don't we move on to the next question? Uh, Yi, do you want to ask? We have one from Steve Merrick. Uh, Jenny, I, I could not find where the question is on my oh. screen. Oh, okay. No problem. Um, yeah. You're helping. You're helping a lot. Don't worry, um, Stephen. It's it's right at the cross the bottom. There's a Q and A. You can click that. Mm. That's okay. I can read them. Um, mm. Stephen Merrick asks: Do APV infected aphids thus have a broader plant host range than non-APV infected aphids? An interesting question. If they are able, if they are more successful on on plants that are not as good a host, does that mean they can spread more broadly? Mm. Uh, yes, no, I think uh, APV infected have have a broad plant um, host range on uh, than no non APV infected if it's and because APV in fact if it is, um, can help can APV survival on uh, low fitness host uh, um, plants, um, can increase the can increase the can increase the um, plant host plant uh, plant host range. What do you mean? Mm. Interesting. Um, I guess, yes, I guess it has you, you guess, uh, or you sure it has a more uh, broader plant host range? 就是APV感染的是不是有更广泛的技术范围? Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're working through all the questions. Yi, do you have a, a question for Hong? Mm. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Hong, the, the, mm. the, the question is just is the APV infect aphids uh, is increase the aphids uh, uh, fitness on host. Uh, or it uh, have more branches the uh, broad host. Yes. 我觉得它的技术范围可能没变化，不过是提高了在技术上适应的那个程度，因为它降低了墨西酸。对对，它它是嗯，是它提高了它的存活能力，应该是。Okay, so the the uh, the answer for this question is, uh, APV infected aphids have better fitness, uh, in the plants. But did not increase the host range. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Yeah. So they still, that's an interesting point. So they still are infecting the same kinds of plants. They just, they just are, uh, have better fitness there. But, and, uh, yeah. And so how are you measuring fitness? Because fitness is sometimes measured by number of offspring right? Number of progeny. And uh, in this case, you said reproduction is decreased. So what is your measure of fitness? 
，适合度是用什么方法测量的？然后是用后。树木呀，还是后代的。适合度和高适合度。之前就是你三 t a k e report 的那个文章，你发现比较是几种植物，它的你有几个指标，比如说种群的那个增长率啊，后代呀、啊、什么的。后代的树木。Uh, in my previous previous paper, we um we from three point um one um life um 就是生生物 life table life table and the feeding behavior and the transcriptomic of cellular glands. From this from this point, we found the Finish of PFS on these three um, host plants. Um, there, uh, the finish host plants the in uh, exhibited the highest on Vesia Faba, and the lowest the uh, followed by Medicago Tractor and the Vesia Ulusa. Um, so, um, the num the life team um, the life history um uh, acute, uh, includes uh, five five points um, including the um, net pro production rate and the uh, uh, um, um, you have five parameters to measure in the life table. Mm. Mm. So the first parameter is uh, net pro production rate. Uh, the, the second uh, parameter. The second means, mm, mm, mm. You say Chinese. 就是平均时代周期。哈哈哈哈哈。Life cycle. The mean generation period. The generation time or generation length. Um. Uh, range. The generation range. Generation range. Chinese say Chinese. Chinese say Chinese. Chinese say Chinese. 净生殖率以及，嗯，我给翻译一下。是的，是的，是的。嗯，然后。The average duration of the life cycle. 嗯，还有个什么？那个。How long they live. 第三个是什么 ？The third parameter is 中文是啥？就是。大哥，我就行了，肯定会得补个，差不多说了几个。Uh, okay. uh, uh, the, 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 the duration uh, of the life. Okay. Show me. Um, yeah, life span. Uh, and the production, uh, production, uh, production rate. Uh, production rate. 就是 life table, a um a a includes this five. Uh, how many per genes uh, can you produce? Right, that's what I'm thinking. Is yes. Yeah. Okay. So is so is that increased in the APV aphids? The APV 感染的那个 increased progeny. 是在那个 APV 感染的这个。对，有 APV 后代增加了，数量增加了。嗯，减少了，减减减少了 ，decrease， a decrease， 嗯 ，decrease。So you're measuring fitness not by number of progeny but by lifespan and by um like feeding parameters. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Have we missed any more questions? I think we have. Um, uh, 
Uh, Jay, maybe I have a question for Loho. Yes, please do. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Loho, you, uh, you, you chose to find that the EPV uh, infects uh, aphids uh, uh, decrease the GA in the plants. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, but uh, without the EPV virus, aphids do not increase, uh, decrease the GA. Level, yeah. So that means the EPV somehow did this job. Yeah. So do you know how EPV manipulates the GA level in mm -hmm. the plant? Yeah, EPV <laughs> uh, um, uh, the mechanism of this um, uh, was when was unknown. I know. Okay. So from your you did the uh, uh, tra uh, tra 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 uh, transcriptom assay of the. Uh, APV infect aphids on plants and the no APV in plants. Have you compared uh, these results for something changed, some genes upregulated, some maybe downregulated? Did you find some interest genes maybe involved in this process? <laughs> We found the in this transcriptomic data, we found the um, antibacterial. Antibacterial, antibacterial pep, pep, pep uh, but uh, it's no difference. Not uh, um, the inter interference uh, interference rate of APV is very very low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the inter interference rate of aphid genes was very very low. Mm, we found the uh, anti only thirteen uh, percent. Um, we found the 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 uh. The efficiency of the RNA, RNAi of the antibacterial peptide uh, is only about 30%. So, so no, uh, no uh, obvious uh, phenotype were observed after uh, this RNAi. Okay. Yeah, maybe this is a uh, uh, usual question because um, we, we, we know that in rice, uh, virus infection uh, could uh, stimulate the J level, uh, J pathway. Uh, so in your case, uh, J is down regulated. So maybe in the future, you can uh, try and find out how virus manipulate the J and the SE yeah. because the cyanic acid level is uh, uh, increased. Uh, without viral infection, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We have an, another, we have one more question from Michael Jones, who has, uh, it's very related, uh, asks, is there any identity between the APV genome sequence and JA pathway genes? Could there be an RNAi mediated pathway uh, reducing JA expression? So, so is there part of the APV genome that interferes with expression of JA genes via RNAi. 
that's, that's an interesting question. Have you noticed anything? This is a good idea, but um, mm, I have no, no experiments on this, this adjective. Yeah, be interesting. Yes. Uh, didn't compare the APV genome to, yeah, to the J pathway genes. Mm. So this is a very good idea this for is. your for, for your future research. Yeah, I think it's a very good idea. Interesting. Yeah. Good. Well, um, I think we have one more comment in the chat as well. Um, okay. Um, well, wonderful. I think this has been a uh, great uh, set of questions. And thank you also, Yi, for helping. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and also for, um, I'm sorry, Feng, Feng Tui. Feng Zhang. Oh. Wei Guo. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, I made that Wei Guo. Wei Guo. Feng, Feng Zhang. Thank you also for helping. Um, <laughs> and Yi for helping with uh, uh, the questions. So um, unless anybody has another question, I think, I think we'll stop there. Do we have any last questions? I'm not seeing any. Um, okay, well, I see some thank yous coming up in the chat. So thank you very much, uh, Hong Lu for the interesting talk. Um, I'm seeing many thank yous, Patricia Santos, uh, Karen Alviar, uh, Jayani Kalinga, lots of people are saying thank you. So thank you for all joining us here for what's new in MPMI. And next week, oh, wait, we just have, um, oops, I think I have uh, a question here from, I want to leave too soon. There's one question from Brandon Reagan. Um, oh yes, uh, good, good catch, Brandon. Um, that's because this was rescheduled. Um, thank you, uh, let, me, let me get back to, to Zoom here. So, so yes, I just want to correct a um, mistake I made, which is that Next, uh, our next talk is not two weeks from now. It was two weeks from last week. week. So it's in one week. In one well, week, yeah. we have Brandon Reagan's thought, talk. Thank you, Brandon. Um, that's, I'm still back where we were two week, uh, last week with, uh, when we had the first seminar. So yes, um, Brandon Reagan and the work from Brandon Reagan and Tessa Birch-Smith, the very lovely um, uh, review article on plasmodesmata and virus, viruses, the cell biology of it, uh, is going to be next week's talk. Next week's talk, we're going to shift the time that's going to go back to our 11 a.m. time, um, which will be less convenient for Asia. Sorry about that. But we will have this all recorded. And that also reminds me um, that we have all of these recorded. All of these are free. And um, if you go to the same place where you registered for this um, seminar, you can get the links to the recordings. Um, would you have a chance to paste that into the chat, Ashley? Um, or maybe it's already in there. But um, if you could paste in where people go to get the recording, that would be great. And that's also where you can sign up for all future seminars. So um, I hope that you'll join us in one week. Recordings are free, and of course, we have opened up uh, Hong Lu's paper, uh, Open Access, and we have also done the same for Brandon Reagan's talk for next week's talk. Thanks, Brandon, for that catch. And if you look in the chat, you'll see that Ashley has posted the link um, for how to get the um, recordings as well as um, the list of seminars. So uh, I look forward to having you next week. And thank you very much for 
your uh, your attendance.